So it's day two at EGX. We've seen some of the games. Let's have a check out some of the retail spaces and see what these places are selling. Day two of EGX, and today we're going to focus on some of the retail spaces because I've got quite a few comments on what do these places actually sell. So starting off with two Infinity Collectibles and beyond, you can tell they sell Pokemon cards. I mean, it's pretty obvious um, in the pictures. Some of these I actually still need for the Lost Origin set, so I will be having a look tomorrow um, and probably buying some of them. Moving on to this shop here, who do these like Katanas and they do plushies as well. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Personally, I've never bought any of these things, but I know some people do, and I know some people like them. If I had to buy any of these, it'd see that long cat, that pink one there. See, I like a long cat, always. On to ID Gaming, who do these customizable keyboards with different wires and different keys, and uh, look at the lights and flashing stuff there. Now, personally, I'm not into all of these things. This is why I'm not going to sound very enthusiastic when talking about lighting up keyboards and flashy things. Uh, I do like some of this art here, but again, I've never bought art. I just know it exists. I know it takes time. I know it takes skill. And these are all of the above. Uh, look at them ones there. Now, I'm not an art critic, but I know these are beyond my skill. In This will take another lifetime for me to learn to do these, kind of, these um, drawings here. So just big up to them pretty much. Some of these vendors didn't have names on the front, but if you know who they are, please let me know in the comments below and I will uh, tag them into the video because some of this stuff is things that um, I would like to buy. These masks, that flash, I like flashy things, flashy hats, flashy glasses. I do like them. I just don't have any occasions to wear flashy things. Moving on to Aesthetic Anime, they do these katanas here. Some are foam, some are made of wood and they do range in prices. Uh, they are all custom made, so look at them. I and mean, they do also do recreations of um, like mythical and fantastic swords, like the Master Sword uh, in the middle there. But again, it's a collector's thing that you'd know what you were looking for if you were into that. And on to Undead Gaming, who do these Joy-Con controller uh, parts, also Xbox and PlayStation. I'm more focused on the Joy-Con because I have a Nintendo Switch. Uh, so, you know, there is many different things to look through here. You'd, you'd have to spend a, a, a good couple of minutes to go through them all. I'm going to show you a few of the controller cases in a minute because I thought they were pretty cool. Uh, the Joy-Cons themselves don't have many customizable features. That's why I quite like the PlayStation and the Xbox. They can have these really cool. Look at that one there, Wolverine. I also will be at EGX on Sunday. There is still another two days of EGX. You've got Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so. If you do want to see anything, um, I'll be there Sunday to f uh, film some more stuff. Look at these cool things. They're like whole ecosystems for Pokemon in a like a Pokeball style light up thing. Uh, I don't know what I would use this for, but I definitely know I'd like to have one to look at. Look at that Snorlax. <laughs> so um, these are the kind of things that you'd um, put on, I guess, like a mantle or something. Just say, oh, look at that. It lights up. And then next up, we have this art. Could you imagine just covering your house in like art of Pokemon, but like really tastefully done? I think it's, it's doable, it's possible, definitely. <laughs> and there's some more of these mini ecosystems again. They're like a fish aquariums, but for Pokemon. I think that's pretty cool. On to Harps Corporation, who do these die, I guess they're called. Dungeons and Dragons multi-sided die. See, I don't play Dungeons and Dragons, that's you can tell that. But I know this, this configuration of a dice um, is what you would probably use in a game like that. You know, these uh, these dungeon crawlers. Uh, and look, some special cases of them. I guess people do take them really seriously. Otherwise, you wouldn't need a case for your dice. Uh, on to SM Artworks. And I believe we have some um, introductions. Hi, my name is Solly. I'm, um, um, I'm the artist for SM Artworks. This, I've been painting for 27 years, self-taught. And um, I've been doing the events for 22 years. And um, this is my first EGX. And that was Sully there with SM Artworks. Now this is absolutely amazing just considering it's self-taught. So on to these click therapy. And uh, these are like hand warmers and neck warmers and basically warmers. On to the Funko Pops. Uh, there is so many here. I was speaking to the owner of this and a lot of this started from his own collection. So these were just collected over the years and had so many of them was like, you know what, I need to um, start a shop. And this, this is how most shops start, I'll be honest with you. It's just from collections. So that's a pretty impressive collection, I've got to say. Uh, I, I I don't want to get into Funko Pops. There's just so many of them. You'll end up just filling like a whole wall, which would be pretty cool, but so it's so many of them. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.